In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can use this new Canva module and make two automate the creation of hundreds, if not thousands of Instagram reels that you can then go forward and post on Instagram, TikTok, whichever platforms that you would like. If you've been on Instagram recently, you would have seen photo reels like this absolutely crushing it. And in this very simple automation, I'm also gonna show you how we can add unique captions for every single one of those Instagram reels generated for us with hashtags. Now, my name is Jack, my school community, and my YouTube channel, all about three things. We are about the latest AI. We are about incredible automations, but most importantly, we're about the stuff that actually works. So if you haven't already, grab that coffee and let's dive straight in. Now I'll start off very quickly with a demo. So we're gonna generate and auto create all of these Instagram reels on Canva using ChatGPT and some cool prompting. Now, the way the automation works is super simple and it's only got four parts. So let me run and show exactly what that looks like. We kick off with this tool section, which basically goes one, two, three, four, five, six, and that corresponds with all of these. So this is real, what is this, real 12, real 13, real 14. And each time you post, it will basically go through step by step. Then this Airtable module, so Canva, first of all, exports that design into our scenario. And then in Airtable, we grab the captions that we want. And then basically what happens is, after that's done, it will then post directly to Instagram. So once we've created the post, we've auto bulked them in Canva, this stuff will just run on autopilot for you. And you can set to post it twice a day. Currently on Instagram, it's recommended that you post no more than twice a day for maximum results. So you do this exercise once, and you could have enough posts for two, three months. It's literally that crazy. This is now completing its post on Instagram, and then we'll be able to see it's completely live and ready to view. And then guys, if we head over to Instagram, we can see this posted only less than 30 seconds ago, and it's also got this unique caption that we specified with the reel that will run in background for us perfectly. Now guys, the reason why people include reels is because the watch time gets crazy. They read the quote, they wanna read the caption, and they spend more than five seconds on it, meaning that you get like over 100% watch time. It's a hack, it's what the best guys on Instagram seem to be doing. So how do we actually build this automation? Well, the very first thing that we want to do is start with the prompt in ChatGPT. Now, my last camera video, I did quotes with Alex Hormozzi, but this could be for literally anything. And I'm also gonna show you an extremely simple way to connect it to Canva and to Instagram so that it should be as foolproof as humanly possible with nothing complicated in it. So we're gonna give this a prompt that sounds just something really simple like this, just for the purpose of the video. Write me 50 quotes from famous Stoics numbered uh, one to 50. Let's just add that bit in there as well. Uh, maximum 150 characters, then we hit enter. Now, I would recommend that you use GPT-01 Mini. It's so fast. It is by far one of the best performing models. And in my opinion, with things like this, it does better than a GPT-01 Preview. And at the moment, it's better than Claude 3.5, in my humble, humble opinion. Now, guys, check this out. We've got all these beautiful quotes. Now, crucially, I've said no more than 150 characters. Why have I said that? Well, look, when we come over to Canva and design our beautiful thing, yeah, and you can design this in the way that you want to. If I, I can basically keep on copying all this text out. You see this? So what I know for a fact is let's say I want the text to go no further than this when you're designing it. Simply copy this, test how many characters there are. You can ask ChatGPT that question and then apply that as the maximum when you ask the model to generate it. Now, the next thing we say to this is so we say ace because we need to recognize greatness. And we'll say export this as a CSV with two columns, uh, column one is the quote, and column two is the poet. And then we hit enter. And now ChatGPT a one mini will then turn this into a CSV file for us. And then this is where the Canva magic actually begins. Now, whilst that is turning into a wonderful and beautiful thing, I'm just gonna delete loads of these for us right here. Oh my goodness, look at these Instagram posts. It's absolutely wild, isn't it? Now, I've got a plain black background here, guys. But in reality, you know, you can turn this into anything you want to. So for example, if I come over to elements, let's say I want videos. I don't know, let's go over to the video section here. And I just say, hey, give me something like, I don't know, black movement background. I find the black still one works well, but in reality, guys, you could have anything you want to. So look, if I just turn it around to give it a tiny bit of motion, is it a little bit skew with? I think it kind of is, right? And then we come back. There we go. How cool is that? And then it'll play for 10 seconds. Look at that, guys. And let's just bring this down to 5.1 seconds. Cool. And then we've got this, and then we've got the thing, and we can add as many pieces of data as we like. Now, coming back over to ChatGPT, has this been done? Okay, it's copied the code. So what I suggest we do, just bring back over to GPT-4.0 and just say export as a CSV. The reason I'm doing that, guys, is because it seems like GPT-01 Mini um, 
isn't as happy to give us files as GPT-4 as yet. So we'll just switch the models and use that to make the export. And once that's complete, guys, we can actually download the file. We'll head over to beautiful canva.com. Now, what do we do? The first thing we'll come down, guys, is the bottom left here is click on bulk create once you are happy with the design that you've got. And I want you to click on upload data at the bottom. You upload the CSV you've got, and then it's basically understood that both columns represent different things. So check this out. If I click on this bit here, I click on connect data, I can say, hey, that is the quote. Now, the really cool thing we can also do, guys, if you want to, and I'm just doing this to illustrate what this looks like, I could add a subheading, I could align it to the left, and I could make it, I don't know, let's say we made that like a light gray, and we italicized it. We could also then connect this data, if I come over to bulk create, like so, and just connect data to the poet. So now that's what the poet will show there, and the quote will show there. Now, it doesn't make sense because I've got Alex at the top, and sometimes you want to follow what works best, but I'm just showing you so you get an idea of what's possible. Now, check this out. I click on continue. It's pulled through everything that ChatGPT made for us, which is really cool. And then we're going to generate four to four designs. So again, it will create a brand new page. And look at this, Marcus Aurelius. Let's see what else we got. Seneca. Oh my goodness, look at this. Epictetus, Marcus Aurelius, Seneca, Epictetus, all these different. This is just crazy. Okay, beautiful. Now it's done that, guys. What do we physically do next? So we're going to save this one here as call this one Instagram viral reels. Perfect. Now we're going to head over to a wonderful uh, make scenario. We're going to create a brand new make scenario. And by the way, guys, if you just want to kind of upload all my scenarios and have to build themselves, all you ever have to do is click on more, click on import blueprint, choose the file. You select the file, click save, and my automation will pop up automatically. Links to all that stuff are down below in the school community if you just want a shortcut and get some secret automations and save time. Now, how are we going to physically build this? Well, look, the first thing we need to add, guys, is an increment function. So I want you to come up to tools like so and click on show more. And I want you to type in increment function. Cool. And reset a value, never. Now, the reason we're doing this is we're going to set this to run. Let's say you want to do two posts on Instagram a day. One is like a quote reel and the other one is a different piece of content. You could say, hey, I want you to run every single day. Now, every time this increment function runs, it will give you a number, which is one. And then it runs again and it gives us two. And that number corresponds to this, which is give me the first reel, give me the second reel, post the third reel. And so it will just run all the way down. And if you did 50 or 100, you then got three months worth of content that will pop out automatically on autopilot for you as a reel without any additional work. So we've got our increment function, which is phenomenal. And we love that. The next thing we want to do is click on the plus. And I'll show you the air table very briefly in a second where we get the Instagram reels from. We're going to click on Canva. You're going to come down and you're going to type in export a design like so. Awesome. It says folder ID. We're going to click on that. I'm pretty basic on Canva. I don't have my stuff in folder IDs. So let's come down here and export format is going to be an MP4, which is wonderful. And then the quality you want to go for. I went for vertical 1080p when I did mine. And then we've got the pages and the pages, guys, is just simply going to be the output from the increment function. And if you haven't yet, just click this add button to create a new connection with Canva. It just basically will open a new page where you sign in and then you're ready to go. And then the folder ID, we're going to click here and click the forward slash. Like I say, I don't have these fancy folders. Everything's just unorganized in one massive pile. And then we've got the design ID. And the design ID just simply refers to the thing that you solved that saved that as, right? So we called our one Instagram viral reels, which is pretty cool. Come down here and it's a top thing and it's ordered chronologically, which is excellent. Now what do we do? We just click OK. And guys, that is about as complicated as a Canva thing gets. Now, the next thing we want to do is to head back over to ChatGPT. Now, it's given us all these beautiful quotes. But what I want it to do is create short form Instagram captions for us. And we want the hashtags as a little bit of a nice signal boost to help Instagram understand what it's about. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to head over to my school community. I'm going over to the classroom, everyday automation. And then come down to agents and look at Instagram. And what I'm going to do is open this up and I'm going to give this as a prompt to chat GPT to say, look, I just want you to create essentially um, lots of, you know, little mini quotes. I'm going to say, hey, create a list of captions uh, in two columns in a CSV. Column one is going to be a uh, number and then column two is going to be Instagram caption. I'm going to say create short captions as outlined in the below prompt. 
and then we paste this prompt in. And this prompt is really, really detailed, because of lots of stuff. Talks about the fact we want to grab attention, curiosity, emotion, questions, bold statements, CTAs. Uh, it's got loads of good stuff in that, and it's got lots of example outputs to help it understand what best practice looks like. So it's slick, it's easy, it's readable, and we can do whatever we want to. Now, we could do longer posts as well, as you can see in this example here. It goes into a lot of nice detail. It's really your preference. I'm just doing short, uh, just to show you a quick example of, of some of the things that you can do. So I come here and I click enter. And now ChatGPT is gonna create this into a CSV for us to export. Now, whilst it's doing that, what I want you to do is head over to Airtable.com. And again, all these links are available down below in the description, so you can just press the buttons and get started. And click on create, uh, start from scratch, and we'll call this one Instagram Viral. Uh, built together and by the way Airtable gives you a thousand rows for free if you're not familiar with it it's excel on steroids hitting the gym um so there shouldn't be any cost with that but again i'll put a link down below in the description for you to check out cool here we're going to have number cool and then here oops yes we do want to save that indeed and here we're going to have caption and you know what guys where are we with our emojis let's give a little robot caption there beautiful and we're going to bring this one down this one we don't need we can delete and then this one here, we don't need. We can delete. Awesome. Now, what do we do? We're going to come back over to ChatGPT and we see our beautiful CSV. That's phenomenal. So we're going to click on that. And guys, once we've downloaded all of these things, what do we do? We do the classic copy and paste. So we come all the way back up to the beautiful top of CSV. And we're going to copy. And then we're going to come back over here, here, and then just Control V, click Continue. And they should all magically appear, which is phenomenal. I'm going to come down bring this one across and we now have captions, which are short, but of course we could make these as long as we want to and you basically can figure out the prompt or just say make them long when you come over. And now we're here guys, we've got the incremental function, we've got the Canva module. The next thing we wanna do is just grab the caption out from Airtable. So we come over, we type in Airtable, we're gonna look over here. I'm gonna type in search, search records. And then what did we call it? We called it Instagram viral build together, didn't we? So let's just type that one in, Instagram viral build together, beautiful. Now, we're going to click on table one, and we're going to give it this formula, okay? Now, the formula, we want it to bring down both output fields, both the number and the caption. Don't worry about the view. And the formula, guys, is going to be the number, which is this, equals this number. So, this here on the left, and put the limit is one, because we don't need any more than that. Now, this is going to spit out a number, right? Number one, number two, number three. And then what we're saying here is, Based on what that number is, I want you to grab number seven. If it's eight, grab eight. If it's nine, grab nine, so on and so on and so forth. So Airtable is only grabbing for us the line of the post that we actually want to make. And that's how you know that incrementally every day it will post for you automatically and you don't need to do anything and you can just sit on your beautiful Instagram followers. And then guys, the final pop this automation, which is really, really cool, is we go to Instagram. We're gonna click on Instagram for business, scroll down, create a real post like so and you see here guys it's got video url you're going to click on video url we're going to come over and the really cool thing here guys is you just click on the file url from canva oh and by the way if you have made this far in the video uh, i've just launched on instagram so if you want to buy some cool content that you might not find on youtube and you want to support the ai will automations jack i'd love to hang out with you over there and yeah see on my channel so if that sounds cool come join me over on beautiful Instagram. Now we've got the file URL, I'm going to come down, we've got the caption, so we're going to click on caption, and that is just going to be, if you can see from Airtable, the caption with the robot, cover frame, this is just at which second in the reel do you want to show, which I think is a really cool thing, but since ours is consistent, we're just going to put second one, but you could use that to get a bit fancy if you so wish to, I'm going to come down, share to feed, click yes, and then we're going to click okay. Obviously you don't have to share to feed, that's completely your call. So we come back, we hit run once, incremental function is gonna grab. Incremental function is grabbing number six. If I check out then what that looks like on our page, what have we got? Number six is this one here, which is man is not worried by real problems so much as by imagined anxieties. And then what's the quote we have for that one? Anxieties are often created by a mind, not real problems. Hashtag mind of the matter, hashtag stay calm. We come to the automation, Airtable's grabbed it. Now, Instagram itself is posting that. So when that's complete, we head back over to Instagram. We'll see the reel with the caption and the beautiful, basically everything we designed ready to go. And then guys, if we come over to the actual page itself, man is not worried by real problems so much as imagined anxieties. Anxieties are often created by our mind, not real problems, Epiticus. And guys, I hope you can see just how epic this automation is. But in any case, guys, I hope you find this automation interesting. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next video.